again if you have this please do take it out so here we are we are at the end of our week and we need to sing happy birthday to Frankie because it's his birthday on Saturday ready happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Frankie happy birthday to you Frankie know that we miss you and we hope that you have a wonderful birthday on Saturday and we will be praying for you and sending you wonderful birthday thoughts. All right, here we go. So we are at the end of our first week of May. Oh my goodness, time flies. All right, so we'll ask ourselves what is today. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday? Yesterday is, was Wednesday, May 6, 2020. If yesterday was Wednesday, what will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be Friday, May 8, 2020. There are 31 days in the month of May. And in May, we celebrated Henrik's birthday, Gabe's birthday. We get to celebrate um, Frankie's birthday on Saturday and Grace's birthday in a couple weeks. And on Sunday is Mother's Day. And I hope that you guys are going to give your mom big hugs. And maybe if you have a garden or some flowers outside, um, if your mommy and daddy say it's okay, you can go and make a bouquet for your mommy for Mother's Day because mothers very important. You know, they are wonderful. And you guys especially have some wonderful moms. So make sure that you say thank you to your mom for being the best mom ever and also for loving you so much. All right, we'll ask ourselves how many days are in one week? How many days are in one week? Let's go ahead and count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in the week. Let's go ahead and clap them out. There's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Remember there are three syllables in Saturday and two in the rest of the days of the week. The month that we are in is May. Remember there are flowers around because April showers bring May flowers. So now we're in May and we're ready for those flowers to start blooming and popping out. What a beautiful day it is to have that. But let's count the rest of the months in the year. There's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. 10 and two more equals 12. There are 12 months in the year. Right now we're in month number five, January, February, March, April, May. And it is the springtime. We see the flowers popping. Let's get our hands ready and dance out those other seasons. The leaves are falling. The leaves are falling. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. The flowers are popping. The flowers are popping. It's hot. It's hot. All right, we have four seasons. They are um, fall, winter, spring, summer. At the very beginning of kindergarten, it was fall, and then it got cold and it was winter. Right now we're in spring. Next season will be summer. And then after that, we start again. Fall, and then it'll be winter, then spring, then summer. All right, I think that's all that we have for there. Our priest is still wearing white because it is the Easter season. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and do this. So today is May M A Y the 7th, 2020. We can also write that as 5. That's the month number. 7. That's the day number. 20. That's the year number. We have been in school 151 days. That's one group of 100 
five tens, and one one. At Miss Morgan's house, the sun is out, and that makes me so happy. We'll come back to our spelling words. The day of the week is Thursday. Thursday. And the season is spring. The flowers are popping. Remember, our spelling words this week, our word family has ig, I-G, ig. And our blend is T-W, tw, T-W, tw. Our sight words both have O. Let's go ahead and spell them. Number one is big, B, I, G, big. Number two is wig, W, I, G, wig. Number three is dig, D, I, G, dig. Number four is jig, J, I, G, jig. Number five is pig, P, I, G, pig. Number six is twig, T, W, I, G, twig. And that's where we see our blend. Number seven is the sight word, go. G, O, go. Number eight is also a sight word, on. O, N, on. All right, friends, here we go. So the different things you have to do today, today um, you, are, you have a sight word test in reading. So you need to do your normal, you get to pick your um, journal, or you get to pick your book, and then you need to write your journal, and then you have a sight word um, test. In writing, you have a few things that you can play on the, um, on the computer, um, but you still need to write your letter to God. Maybe this one you can say, thank you for your mom. Thank you for your mom, because what, how wonderful is she? And Mother's Day is coming up. In math, we have um, a problem solving page today. And on Monday, you have a math test. So really try to pay attention. Seems like this chapter kind of just flew by. In religion, you can talk about the Holy Family. That's Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. In social studies, you're going to be talking about um, doctors and nurses. And then in, um, in science, you're going to finish your, your animal report, okay? All right, friends. Have a fantastic day. Know that Miss Morgan misses you so much. Thank you all for the kind spiritual bouquets that you sent me, for the wonderful cards that you sent me. Miss Morgan is so appreciative of all of you and know that I miss you so much and I just can't wait until we can see each other again. But in the meantime, I'm so happy knowing that you're praying for me. All right, friends, have a fantastic day. 